Hey everybody, it's your guy Eagles. Um, back with another video to all my subscribers. Thank you guys for rocking with me so far. I love you guys. Everybody who's new to my channel, welcome. Hopefully you find something that you um, enjoy and you learn something new today. Um, first, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been allowing me to read for them. Um, I'm enjoying the conversations. Um, I love being able to help people. And the video that I'm going to talk about today is one of the ways that I kind of just cleanse myself of all the energy that I'm constantly interacting with and um, also just kind of talk about some of the overall spiritual benefits of dry fasting. So if you see in the title, I completed a three day, 48 hour um, dry fasting at the end of January. And for me, I worked my way up to this point. So if you're just watching this now, I wouldn't recommend you to just jump right into a dry fast. It's definitely something that you want to um, build up your stamina towards. So for me, um, back in 2019, I would do intermittent fasting all throughout the month. Um, I would do a 20 hour fast with the four hour eating window. I did a 22 hour fast with a two hour eating window, a 16 hour fast, eight hour eating window. Um, and so forth. And I really, really enjoyed the benefits of it. Um, the only issue I have with intermittent fasting is that it's a little hard to coordinate having a social life um, because, you know, a lot of times when you might get invited to stuff, you're in your fasting window and it just makes it a little challenging to kind of be in that environment and not partake in any, um, you know, delicacies. So, a dry fast, if you have never heard of it, is when you go without water and you go without food. So you're just only thing that you have in you is whatever you already had in your body. Um, and it probably sounds more scary than it actually is. But for me, I always do my fast based off of my intuition, just kind of what my body is feeling. So. If I feel like, man, it's the time to purge, then I go ahead and I just jump right into it. And I don't even really think about what I'm about to do um, because then I'll start to kind of just psych myself out and not really commit fully to it. But once I go like that first day, I'm just locked in. Um, and I probably would have did this fast a little bit longer had I been eating a little bit more clean before the fast. Um Sometimes, like for me, if I get stressed out, I like to eat a lot of snacks, especially potato chips, um, which isn't the healthiest thing for you. But, you know, we all got something. But um, let's talk about some of the physical benefits of dry fasting. So you get more energy when you dry fast. Your body is not breaking down a lot of food um, and it's not constantly having to um, just burn that, you know, food off or burn that waste off. So your body is going to have much more energy than you typically would have. And this is really exciting for some because if you have an active life, you're going to have plenty of energy to take care of the stuff that you need to take care of. If you don't have an active life, you're going to be very much so encouraged to do it because you're going to have this extra energy. You're going to want to burn it off. Um, I got some notes here, so that's why I'm looking down. Um, high quality sleep. So if you're struggling to get a good night's rest, um, fasting can definitely make a big difference in your life. Um, obviously, you want to consult with your healthcare practitioner before you try this to make sure that you are, you know, um, healthy enough to do the fast. And if you are good to go, you definitely will notice a difference in um, your sleep, your sleep quality. And you'll also recognize that you don't need as much sleep as you previously did. For me, I typically um, will go like eight hours, sometimes nine hours, depending on how busy my schedule is. Um, but when I'm dry fasting, my optimum amount of sleep is like four to five hours. I really don't need a whole lot. Um, so if I'm doing what I need to do spiritually to keep myself cleansed and um, just protected, then I'm really, really good on a minimal amount of sleep. And when I'm fasting, my body is just naturally like super, super happy. So I don't have to use as much. Um, enhanced focus. So when you're fasting, you're not using, your body is not constantly like breaking down food. So it just gives your body so much other, um, so much more time to do other stuff. And fasting definitely improves my cognitive functioning. 
I don't have to um, exert as much effort to concentrate. It's just like whatever I set my mind to do, I'm laser focused on. Um, you know, it could be anything. So say, for example, you're reading a book and you typically like, you know, just doze off or you're struggling. Fasting can definitely, definitely help you burn through that material a lot sooner um, because you're not spending that much time just like eating. Eating, I don't think we realize how big of a part it plays in our lives. And sometimes it holds us back in a lot of ways. Um, but fasting can definitely give you that. Um, now, so some of the spiritual benefits that I want to talk about, because I think a lot of times people kind of gloss over this, but when you fast, especially a dry fast, which means that you're not giving your body any food or water for the duration of this fast, you're going to be faced with your shadow. OK, and your shadow is the dark and scary part of yourself that we typically are afraid to address. But if you know me and my philosophy is all about just embracing it, just facing it, because at some point or another, you're going to have to deal with those issues. You're going to have to deal with whatever it is that you've been running from. So for me, I always just kind of like to face it head on. Um, and I can tell you that when you do do a dry fast, expect for your body not only to purge physically, but also spiritually as well. So if you've been suppressing anything, if you've been um, just worrying about something, it's definitely going to surface to the light. Maybe not while you're in the fast, but definitely within the week or the next week afterwards, you're going to see the manifestation of the work that you've been doing. Um when you fast, you're at your purest form. You know, you're going back directly to source and it just opens up your intuition, you know, your crown chakra in a way where um, you're really able to get really in tune with yourself, get really clear on your body, what you need. Um, and it forces you to just spend that extra time with yourself. So many, so much of our lives is spent like giving to others and um, just constantly on the go that we rarely ever just take that extra five, 10 minutes to check in with ourselves. When you're doing your fast, especially a dry fast, you are going to come into contact with your higher self. And for some, it can be a little scary because it's like, if you are not used to tapping into that energy, it's new, you know, and for others, it's really exciting because you're able to really break through and figure out what's been holding you back. So if you want to do that, um, I highly suggest that you uh, figure out how you can incorporate fasting into your life. Um, for some people, alternate day fasting works. I've done that. It's where you fast for one day, eat the next day. Um, there's a slew of different iterations of fasting. But I would encourage everyone, obviously, consult with your healthcare practitioner, check in with your body. If at any time when you're fasting, you're like, mm, I need water or I need food, go ahead and do that. I particularly like to do a dry fast more than a water fast because I feel like when you are doing a water fast, um, drinking the water constantly reactivates your um you know, the acid in your stomach to break something down and it kind of induces hunger pains. At least in me, it does. So when I'm dry fasting, it just it, it's so much easier just to go through because you're not constantly teasing yourself like, oh, am I going to eat something? coming? Nope, nothing's coming. So um, be prepared for um, especially for my people who are really into spirituality, be prepared to face those demons. Um you feel like you're safe and you're comfortable and you enjoy the little bubble that you're living in. But as soon as you step outside of that, you will be so amazed at the beauty um, of who you are and what life can offer to you um, when you just take that leap. So be prepared for that. And then also, I don't think I mentioned this, but you do lose weight during a dry fast. Many of you probably can't see the video expecting me to talk about that, but um, that's just kind of like a byproduct of it. Um, you will lose weight. Your body is, you know, um, breaking down the fat that you already have stored up. So I think for me, I lost about like five or seven pounds or something while I was doing it. Um, and while I'm happy about that, I'm much more happy about being able to get clarity and just go up another level um, with my spirituality. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you learned anything new, um, let me know in the comments. 
if you like the video then give it a thumbs up that helps you know with my algorithm and it also just kind of lets me know that you guys enjoy the content and as always think we that they know we'll see thing on india